Hi guys, I'm Michael, Michael Heathcote from the Higher Butt Waddington and from the Bonnie Inn over at Salisbury Way. Um, hope everybody's doing okay in these uh, slightly challenging times, but today I'm going to try and lighten up the mood a little bit and we're going to do one or two of the dishes, or one of the dishes specifically today, from the Higher, which is going to be a salmon on croute dish, a dish we do in the restaurant. And what I'm going to try and do today, hopefully, is simplify it right down and so we can make it something that you can, you can do maybe a little bit more of a special occasion at home. And uh, anyway, it's not going to be too technical, but we're going to start off, it's going to be a salmon on croute. We're going to wrap it in the pastry with some, uh, some leek puree and a little bit of cabbage to hold it together. We're going to do some new potatoes with it and a little bit of uh, English asparagus. So first of all, I've got some new potatoes. I'm going to bang these on because it's probably one of the longest things we're going to have to do. Eleanor, excuse me, I'm going to hear you filming this potatoes <laughs> in pan, thank you. Sorry about the... Uh, Lazy camera people. <laughs> right, a bit of water. This is, like I say, two things that are going to take a while to do, a little bit longer. Leek puree and the potatoes. Apart from that, it's it's a pretty quick dish. So, potatoes are going on. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of salt uh, in the pan. Just to, uh, a little bit of salt and pop a lid on there, which I've got hiding in the cupboard. Thank you. Okay. Lid on. Meanwhile, just before I've got another pan of pan of water boiling. So I've got a pan of water just lightly seasoned. Again, and that's going to be for a leek puree. So I've split my leek down the middle there. Uh, you can obviously get quite a bit of dirt around the top of it. So I'm just going to wash that out. But a little bit of vitamin B12. It's all good for us, you know. I don't think our grandparents used to rinse these out too much. Obviously, at the restaurant we tend to. Uh, have to go through a longer process of cleaning these kind of things, but at home it's not as bad. So I'm going to split them again and again, the leaks through there. And same with the other one, all the way along, nice and fine. Okay, and so it doesn't have to be too fine. You don't, you don't want to get, because they're only going to be boiled, so, but it, if we can cut them all evenly, then we're gonna, they're all going to cook at the same time. That's the idea. And here we have our uh, leek ready for the, ready to go in for the puree. So if I get the leeks, I've got the pan boiling behind me. Just going to pop those onto receptacle. There we are. Have we got that, guys? Aye. Thank you. There we are. Just a few bits. Into the pan go the leek. We're going to boil these for about... Uh, Three minutes, something like that. I read somewhere it's better for. So I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, well, you will have done that. Anyway, <laughs> you know. Just make it a mess. Well, you know, I'm allowed to make a mess. As long as your mother doesn't see, you know that. There we go. They can go in. They can go in. Right. Just be careful. All submerged nicely there. Just help them with uh, my uh, spatula. Just help them down. There we go, pop the lid on, like I say, we're just going to let that come up to the boil, give it about three or four minutes. Meanwhile, new potatoes are just coming up, they'll be fine, and that's our um, leek coming up there. Okay, in the same water, I've got some, uh, some hispy cabbage here, just not too much, just take the roots off there, and then some of the bigger leaves from the, outs from the outside here, so take... You only need probably one, one and a half for each each portion. So we're just gonna take the very bottom of the of the, uh, the cabbage leaf out, just the, the bottom of the vein there, just the, the top of it. I've got my uh, my cabbage leaves there. Uh, just to show you one or two other things we are gonna need, which I've got ready. The salmon, obviously. I'll show. I'll, I'll prep that down in a minute, but it's right, guys. So we've got the leeks on. New potatoes coming up, salmon's there, got my cabbage, okay, um, where's the cloth? Not that one, the dish cloth, you know the one I've got to wipe up with, quick, quick, quick. That's the one, that's a bit dirty, get clean one, you don't want to see that. Thank you, that's better, thank you, alright, okay, um, leeks are nearly there, yeah, just coming up nicely, I'll take the lid off, um, I've got a, a sieve somewhere, Preferably rather than a colander, you might want to do the little bits might go through. What are you doing? Just Excuse stopping. me, I just get yeah, they're all right. They don't need to. Thank you very much. Right. Right. So leaks are out there. You've got that. 
Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to take them up to the sink very, very, very carefully through the colander, so, or the sieve, sorry. Let those drain nicely. I know I miss some, I'm going to try and get them in a minute. I've only got two hands. Thank you. Right, we'll put those on there so you can't see the ones I've missed, okay. alright? Right, so those are my leaves. I want to get all the water out. The, the, the big thing about this is you, you don't want too much, any, any moisture because you want to keep the puree reasonably thick. If it goes too wet uh, and soft, then it will come out of the pastry, yeah? We're going to get our food processor. This is one I brought from the, uh, the, the, uh, one of the pubs because uh, ours has uh, had a temporary malfunction recently. Overused, I think. So, in they go to the, the food processor. I'm just using this as a liquidizer. It's nothing else, nothing more fancy than that. It's not doing anything else that y your um, blender wouldn't do at home or your food processor wouldn't do at home. So there we go, into the, uh, the gizmo. Um, lid just to the side there. Okay, I've got my leeks in my food processor. I'm just gonna get some uh, butter, uh, unsalted, it doesn't matter if you salt it, just don't be careful when you put it in the, you don't, not to put too much seasoning afterwards. Um, I'm just so used to using unsalted butter all the time now, so. I, you know, you're doing a few portions here of the elite puree, so don't don't be too scared. Got a, a good knob of butter. Putting that in my food processor. Hi. Uh, butter's gone in. Lid on. Switch on. Why isn't it working? Oh, oh yes it is. There we go. So I'm just going to give this a good whiz. Ten seconds in mind. Oh, hello. What are you doing in here? Hello, mate. All right. Sorry, I nearly got attacked by my uh, miniature schnauzer there, which is doing a very good job of uh, job of impersonating uh, holding his sheepdog. He's getting his hair's getting that long at the moment. Um, right, I'm scraping the sides down. No, it's not for you. It's not for you. Scrape the sides down. Put that somewhere where it's not going to. And let's see. Uh, right. Whiz it back on again, this time for probably about half a minute. Okay, there we go. Take this back over to my board. You can see I've got a nice leek puree there, yeah? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get, obviously not on any, any wastage. Just depending on the, on the, on the mm. quality, the speed, the, you know, so many of these processors on the market now, aren't they? Just depending on how long you're actually gonna blitz it for. But this one, it's a, a nice, a nice sort of like you can see the consistency there. It's it's quite thick. It's not it's not too too wet. It's not too loose. The thicker you can get it, the better really. Uh, the only thing we do, need to do now is give it a taste, just to be sure that we're happy with it. So, well, 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 what do you mean we? Well, I'm going to give it a taste. <laughs> no, it does need a bit of seasoning. A bit short of seasoning. So, put a touch of um, touch of salt. And a little bit of uh, black pepper. Give that a stir around. There we go. And if one of you two can just scrape that into a bowl for me, because uh, I normally... Well, I'm, be more, I'm being more useful, so I think you do it. You can bowl it into a bowl for me, thank you. Yeah, Put that in the uh, sink. I'm going to get my salmon out and just... Um, so we're gonna do it. I did mention these cabbage leaves earlier. I was going to pop them in the pan with the leeks just so it saved me to boil another pan. But I'm just going to pop them in with this pan with the um, with the new potatoes now. 10, 15 seconds, that's all they'll need. So I'm popping those in the, straight into the water. Carefully your fingers, nice and hot. In they go. Push them down a little bit. There you are, don't have to be too nosy, thank you. <laughs> there we are, pop those in the, in the hot water. Um, you can... Just get a, a bowl of cold water quickly, and we're going to put those in those after about a minute, half a minute into the uh, into the cold water just to stop them cooking. So there's my cold water. I'm going to grab my um, tongs very, very carefully now. Very, very carefully. Obviously, boiling hot water. You need to be very careful. Get your um, tongs 
the lid, get my cabbage leaves and straight into my cold water. It's just going to stop them, stop them cooking. It's just a chefy thing, it keeps them that nice and green, keeps them nice and clear, they're not overcooked. New potatoes are coming on nicely, they won't be far off by the time we're done. So those are my cabbage leaves, they've stopped cooking, they're quite cool. Just going to, not too hard, but it's a firm ring out. It's a firm ring, okay? Pop those on, my, on the plate ready to use later, okay? So I've just got this piece of salmon in from the fishmonger from Giles down at Wellgate. Um, it's, obviously, it's, it's all prepped for you. There's none of the pin bones left in there. Uh, it's all quite clean and tidy. What, what, what I'm gonna do here, I don't want the skin on because we're wrapping it in the, the puff pastry, so we don't really want the skin on. You don't need a big portion for this. I mean, you obviously can do what you, you, you want to eat yourself, but I'd say, you know, it's probably about two, two and a half centimetres, an inch thick. Pop that back on. Just quickly run your knife underneath the edge of the skin. That's our salmon. I'm gonna pop that piece back in the fridge and give my hands a quick wash. Don't forget to sing happy birthday. I'll sing happy birthday, but I don't think they'll want me to watch it or hear me singing happy birthday. Okay, hands are washed. Here we go. Shouldn't be drying them on the same towel as I'm working with, but that's another thing, you know. Don't worry, we're only going to go on to eating this. Right, uh, so now we are going to get the, um, the puff pastry out. We're going to get and start assembling our en croute. Um, thank you. Ah! Thank you very much. <laughs> So, piece of puff pastry um, and leek. You've got there leek purees here from earlier. Did we try it? Uh, Are you happy with it? You did, yes. Is it all right? Oh, no, I didn't try it. We didn't try it. We told, you Ooh, told us we weren't right. allowed to. You've done right. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, okay. Now, there's two ways of doing this um, on crew. You can just wrap it in a, in a puff pastry so it's totally encased, or you can use one of these fancy downs which means it turns it into a little lattice. I'm sure you've seen them all before. You just run your uh, lattice cutter over your post puff pastry. Got our puff pastry there, which we're gonna lie on the on our board. We've got our, um, opening up all the, all the gaps to make it nice and fancy. We've got our, our uh, hispy cabbage or our Sweetheart cabbage, whatever you say, just making sure that they're nice, that they're quite patted dry. You don't want any, any of the uh, excess moisture in there. So, we're gonna, I'm just going to get a, a piece of kitchen roll and <coughs> cut that, uh, yeah, that water off. So, I get a couple of pieces of kitchen roll, just cut that water off so it's nice and dry, both sides. Yeah, we don't want any excess moisture in there. So, that's our cabbage leaf in the middle. Then we're going to get our leek puree, clean spoon, clean spoon chef, clean spoon. Yes sir, sorry chef. Thank you. So onto our cabbage leaf goes our leek, there we go. Onto our leek goes our salmon, okay. We're going to just going to then pick, up, pick one piece up over and I'm going to which I've already got here. A little bit of salt, a <laughs> little bit of salt. I have seasoned the leek before. I'm conscious that I've seasoned the, the water that the, the cabbage went into for the potatoes. Bit of pepper. Touch just a little bit more leek on top. Not a lot. Give a second, a little binding agent. There we go. So we're, then we're gonna pop our pastry over, roll in, and that's it. We're done, we're ready to go. I get my egg, obviously, for egg washing. I've got my uh, tray for baking on. You want a quite a solid uh, bottom base. If you don't, if you have a thin aluminium one, you won't get the crispness. So there we go. Just gently lift it onto our tray. Thank you. Well done. Got my fork ready for my... Just give me a quick... Whisk, 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 whisk. There we go. And I've got my little brush, just give it a light brush on the pastry, doesn't matter if it goes on anywhere else. I haven't even bothered tidying up the ends because it's the kind of thing you just whip off um, when, you, when it comes out of the oven, okay? 
So this is going to go in the oven, uh, nice hot oven. I've no idea what temperature our ovens are, I've got to say. I know one's hot and one's not so hot, that's all. So um, it's going to go in hot oven, I would say 180, 190 um, degrees C, um, 12 minutes, okay? Uh, just, you know your own ovens, just be careful. So that's going in for 12 minutes, 12 minutes, okay? Uh, meanwhile, I've got my potatoes, which are... Uh, they're, they're ready to go, so I'm going to drain the water off quickly. There we are. You set the timer for the. the uh, you set the timer. Good you are Siri. You have to do something. <laughs> right, okay. So, meanwhile, we've got our asparagus um, ready to go. I'm going to use a small pan, which I don't think I've got. Go on outside. I'll have to use that because Ellie has not yet washed up. Do you want one outside or not? Yeah. Ellie, go and get it. No, we're not. We're staying. We're live. No, we're not. <laughs> yes, we are. No, not. Yes, we are. We're keeping this in. No, go and get it. <laughs> I've got a small pan-ish. Uh, trim the bottoms off my asparagus just a little bit because they're already trimmed these. But then just a little thing I, I sometimes like to do, get rid of those. Take the, um, and again, some little rounds of them off the bottom. So I've got my asparagus there. I'm gonna drop the other little round ones I've just chopped into the pan as well. Yes. There we are, thank you. And then these are, I'm just gonna pop these in about, I'm gonna st steam them basically. So I'm gonna put them in about a half centimeter of water. If that, a bit less maybe. With um, straight onto the hot gas or hot stove. Pan up, lid on, excuse me, and a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt on there, that's all we're going to do for now. So we've just got some water, some salt and the asparagus. These are going to take about two minutes I would say. Um, we're going to let them come up to the boil, let them boil vigorously for about a minute, take the lid off, let the water uh, evaporate. Meanwhile. Uh, I'm going to do our crushed potatoes, which are going to go with this. So, for the crushed potatoes, we're going to need some um, and some butter, some seasoning, and some chives. Have you got my chives? Chive, chive lady. No. Can you go and get the chives, please? Yes. Uh, just a, a, a little bunch from the, you know, outside. Thank you. Chive lady. <laughs> so again, okay. I'm going to take a. Uh, just uh, th these potatoes here, there's probably, I know I've only done one uh, on crew, but there's probably potatoes for at least two there. So, small knob of butter in the pan. Gonna get um, a fork. And just gonna crush, crush the spoon um, quite. So that, into, just into chunks really. There we go. Chives, thank you. You've got a little bit of flowers on top. Sorry. I have to get rid of that. Ah! <laughs> I got them. <laughs> Thank you. Right, chives. Just, um, I'm going to give these a quick chop and put some cut them into our um, new potatoes. Meanwhile, asparagus is here. Comes to the boil quite nicely. It's boiling, boiling away. This, this is obviously gone a little bit cool, the argus, so I'm just going to leave it on for another minute. Chives going straight into the, into the crushed potato. There we are. Nice. Give those a quick mix. There we go. You can see those. That's nice and rough. Now to just check the seasoning. I did season them before, but they probably just will need a little bit more. Mm. Okay, I'll just touch them off. Does somebody keep hiding my salt? Yep. I know you keep thinking I use too much of it. Sorry. There we are. Right. That'll be fine. I'm going to put these aside now just to, to keep warm. There you go. My asparagus is just coming up nicely. Just take the lever lid off now. Okay, the uh, asparagus, you can see it's just come nicely dry. It's beautifully tender. So I'm just going to take that out and put it on a, a, a plate to the side to keep it warm. Cupboard. So, pop those on plate. There we are. Handle my little bits as well. 
So quick quick sauce for this as well whilst we're, whilst we're at it. I'm going to pop these with my potatoes to keep warm for a minute. Um, quick sauce, same pan as I've just done the um, leet of the asparagus in. So we just need a splash of white wine just into the pan. There we go. You can hear that's still hot. Um, going to get that on the heat again. Just let it cook out. A little bit of white wine vinegar in there, just a, a teaspoon, maybe a, a touch of uh, Touch less, or a dessert spoon, I should say, if that goes in. And just let that come down so it's, it's nearly dry. You see there, it's supposed to be filming a few times. There we go. So we're nearly, that's, that's all, almost there, there. How long left on that salmon timer, chat? Um, hey Siri! Oh, sorry. Three minutes and 33 seconds. Three minutes, 33 seconds. We'll Spiffing. Far off. So here's our, that's our uh, white wine and white wine vinegar. We're going to put um, a splash of cream in there. Just doesn't need much at all. Just a little, couple of tablespoons. There we are. Just put that to the side to keep it nice and warm. Come down gently, not too hard. So just keep them moving in the pan, and we're almost there. So a few chives, they can go in the pan. A bit of garnish for the uh, sauce. There we are. And then just give my asparagus the few bits that I uh, cut off the bottom. They can go in the, to the sauce as well. Just give it a bit more uh, of a bite. Swirl those around together. Down the right, a few more of them on there. Those little babies. Whoops, a oh. daisy, Ralphie. Don't you two eat that asparagus? You won't like it. Is he there? There we go. Thank you. Right, so we're just about there now. I've got my crushed potatoes, I've got my sauce, I've got my asparagus. My salmon's almost ready, so we're going to assemble the dish. Um, I've got my, my plate to pop it on. Just coming out of the uh, warming oven. Got my crushed potatoes. Just check them again. Okay. Right. Are we going to make this very um, posh? Are we just going to serve this as a tea? I don't know. Uh, I think tea time. Tea. tea time. Okay. I'm going to say my mouth is watering, so I'm, 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 I'm hungry, so I mean. Right, so, okay, just a few crushed potatoes there. You can see how many I did there. I mean, it's not... So we're just going to make this a bit more tea. So I've got probably probably not a big enough portion for my kids, but I think for most of it, it's not far off being enough. Uh, so I've got my crushed potatoes. I've got my asparagus again. I think it's probably far too much for uh, for one. There's probably a good two portions there at least, so that can go on there. Got our sauce just about ready, and our salmon is just about cooked. Let's have a quick look at him, see if he's uh, happy. Pull him, pull him out of the oven. Get my hand in the oven cloth. Oh! So you can see he's nicely coloured up. Can you see that? It's full. See he's nicely coloured up around Lovely. the egg. So we're just feeling, I think you might just need another minute. So I'll pop him back in. Okay, I'll give him that another minute, minute and a half. Uh, help is your, your time should be going off any second. Yeah. Just get my hand in the oven glove again. Is it? Yes. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. We don't need the dance moves as well. So, oh, can you get me with one of those egg flippery overy things out the drawer, please? The flipperizer. Flippification. Fish slice, that's the one. Thank you. So, underneath there, didn't really need greasing because it's a butter pastry. There we go. So, that's our uh, salmon on croup. Um, pop him in the oven because he's quite warm. In the sink. Um, so with our uh, clean knife, <laughs> just gonna uh, trim the ends off, just to neaten him up like that. 
you won't like it, it's too hot. <laughs> you can have it in a okay? And then you can either serve him whole or there you go, in half. And for me, just a tap, touch of pinkness in the middle there. Just right, like I say, 12 minutes. It probably needs that for the pastry. You probably could have a, a minute less for the actual salmon for me. And then if you can just have a spoon, guys. Aye, aye. Table. Any, that's a dessert. You know what I mean, though. And just gonna put a little bit of our sauce around. Quite a moist dish already, you know. It doesn't need a great deal. So, I mean, you might say, oh, cream, I don't wanna have that. You don't really need it. It's, it's quite nice on its own. There you go. Or for those who want it a little bit richer still, you can put a, a knob of butter into the sauce just to richen it up. But that's our salmon on crew with elite puree, crushed new potatoes, asparagus, asparagus chive, cream sauce. Ta -da! Hope you enjoy uh, trying it at home. Let me know how you get on. Maybe send one or two pictures if you do get them. And uh, if you've got any ideas that you'd like us to, uh, to try, please let us know and we'll see if we can uh, knock up one or two dishes to keep us all happy through these times. Enjoy it.